my name is Chris, and when I dug up my front lawn to put in these beautiful garden beds, I also wanted to add some plants that would attract pollinators and do really well in the wet winters and the dry summers that we have. I didn't really know where to get started, so I called the garden hotline and got some great advice on native plants in my yard. I put some in, so let's go take a look. All right. So this is a little short for tall Oregon grape, but as you can see, it's beautiful. It has evergreen leaves all year long, and I don't see any berries, but it has some tasty berries. They're a little tart, uh, but the birds love them, which is why there aren't any right now. Um, but in the spring, it also has these beautiful yellow flowers, very fragrant and great for pollinators. So this is one of my favorites in the yard. If you're looking for plants that will attract pollinators, another great one is ocean spray. So let's go take a look. So this is ocean spray, which you can see a few of the leaves are still on now in the fall. So as you can see, there's hundreds of little tiny flowers that in the spring are actually great at attracting butterflies. And right now in the fall, these will end up being good food source for birds. So it really gives you something all year long in your garden. Well, I saved my favorite native plant for last. So let's go take a look at Indian plum. And here it is. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's just some sticks. But come February, this will be one of the first plants to flower. It'll have these beautiful white dangling flowers that hummingbirds love and bees love, all these great pollinators for your garden. So spring seems very far away, but fall is actually the perfect time to plant a native plant. So let's go see how. First, dig a hole twice as wide as it is deep so the roots can spread out. Then, loosen the root ball and shake off excess soil. Next, put your plant in the hole so the top of the root ball sits level with the ground. Replace the soil, and finally, make a donut around the plant with mulch to keep it from drying out. Be sure to leave a small donut hole in the center. See how easy that was? I first learned about native plants through the Master Composter Soil Builder program with Seattle Tilth, which led me to call the garden hotline for more information. You can call them too. Happy planting! Thanks, garden hotline!